We are in the beautiful Colorado Rockies. He drives the truck over there and she stands back up. So he backs out and he's like, hey man, we need to just wait till in the morning, come back and we'll find her. Little snowy out. So day two rolls around and we're headed in to look for the cow elk. Now it's getting daylight, riding down the road and coming out of the mountain. Man, there was mule deer everywhere. So over the past 24 to 36 hours it has snowed a lot like they were calling for maybe an inch two inches we probably got somewhere around six to eight inches i mean this is a lot of snow wind chills getting down around zero or even below zero unbelievable how cold it is we headed to look for this cow we shot last night uh, we feel good about it i think we'll find her hopefully I'm still a little nervous until we actually lay hands on her. Hopefully the coyotes haven't got her and we can get some meat. We come up on the buck we saw the night before, 50 yards from us, we drive right by him. I mean, there's mule deer everywhere. He's a four point on one side and I don't know if he forks on the other side. He may just be a big two point on the other side. Can you, can you see him? Yeah, I can see him. Yep, that's the buck you yeah, saw. The right saw. side's got a split. We see one way off. So we stop and we're looking at him. And the guys, he's, he's like, man, that's a good buck for around here. And I was like, if you're telling me that's a good buck for around here, then I want to shoot him. So, so our guide, he says, hey, man, if y'all want to work on him, y'all can. I was like, all right. Our cow elk's laying, or should be laying, you know, like two, 300 yards over there from where this deer is. And Brooks got a little narrow window to film him. I think if I can get to that tree right there, we can shoot him. All right, let's go for that tree. Let's get on this tree shot the cow last night pulled into the field well, before we got to the field there was mule deer on the side of the road in the fields just some does and a little bit but we pulled in the field and freaking deer everywhere there's some cow elk out here oh, big mule deer buck we put a little slip on him real short slip maybe 50 60 yards got in uh, up on the tree where we could shoot bam dropped the hammer now we got a mule deer buck down and we're about to go find that cow I shot last night. Potentially two tags filled. One more to go. Waiting on that big bull elk next, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. <laughs> He's dead. 
smoke them, baby. Look at that. What a stud. Oh, man, that's a fine deer. Yeah, that thing's big. Big body. Yeah. How cool is that? That's awesome. Holy moly. Heavy horn. Heavy. Heavy horn. Yeah, he is. Short nose, face. That's an older deer, ain't it? Wow. That sucker's huge. When the man said that's a good one for here, <laughs> it was time to go ahead and put one in the chamber and squeeze off on it. Dude. I'm shaking for some reason. That's exciting right there. It may be the cold and the excitement. <laughs> hey, first mule deer ever. Some big old feet. Some big old body. Holy macaroni and cheese. <laughs> he said, holy macaroni and cheese. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Didn't expect that this morning. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we came at daylight. <laughs> Look at this guy right here. So the game plan was, after shooting a cow last night, back out, come back first thing this morning, look for the cow. Well, in route to look for the cow, we got sidetracked here a little bit, and you can see why. Mr. Jack, we saw some, and uh, saw another one kind of on up and he was like let's go look at that one when he said that's a good mule deer buck for here we knew it's about to be on man it's been snowing since last night beautiful country i mean this this place is unreal and they have the critters man alive we've seen a lot of elk and mule deer the last two days and uh it's only gonna get better it's supposed to clear off later today and uh, the hunt's going to get real good. That sun's going to come out. It's going to be cold down in the single digits tonight, but it's uh, going to be a little rough on these South Mississippi boys, but I think we can handle it. But, man, I, I'm this right here, it don't get any better than this. First mule deer buck I've ever killed, and he will definitely be going on the wall. That was my goal, to shoot one that I could mount, and this guy right here, it's gonna make a beautiful mount. Big body, probably 300 pounds plus, maybe. Uh, mature deer, he was rubbing an aspen right here behind us, made the shot, he didn't go. I mean, he just kind of spun around and fell maybe 10, 15 yards, but unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm so tickled right now. Look at that. Man. That's beautiful right there. That side right there has got some mass. Both of them. I mean, he's got a lot of mass. He's been doing a lot of rubbing, too. Man. That's All fine. Right. That's fine right there. Let's go find that cow now. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Two for two. Cow I shot last night right here. Right where we thought he'd be. Yes, I heard. Got a little snow on. That's all right. Got a little snow on. Kept her cold overnight. She's not even Boy. stiff yet. That's a big in there. Man. That's a big animal. A lot of good meat right there, boys. A lot of good meat right there. Wow. Late yesterday evening, and we had those elk come out, and they kind of spooked. There was two bulls out there. They just wasn't big enough to shoot. Um, this big girl and two more were out there. They kind of spooked and was running off and uh, made a shot on her. It's pretty far back. Uh, we watched her run over here and lay down. Mr. Jack come in. She stood up and walked over to this spot, which is 50 yards from where she first laid down. So we decided to back out. We knew it was gonna get cold and snow tonight or last night. And uh, we, we figured she'd be laying right here and she was. So nothing hurt. I mean, it's 23 degrees, snow. She's been packed in ice all night and this meat is gonna be on point. That's what I'm pumped up about. First elk I've ever killed. 
first one yeah man big cow elk so we're two for two we got a mule deer buck and a cow elk only thing left is a big bull big gnarly bull is what we're looking for next colorado colorado baby 2023 real south hunt Whew. what did mr jim say he said he's so happy he can cry <laughs> That afternoon we saw uh, several cow elk, uh, we saw mule deer. It was pretty slow and then it, it started getting real cold. It hadn't even got dark yet. Me and Brooke was like, it's time for us to pack up and head back to camp because we were freezing to death. Another thing that was on our minds was the fish that was gonna be fried, the shrimp that was gonna be fried, the gumbo that Jackie brought, like, we were thinking about that, so we, we headed on back to camp a little bit early. <laughs> but we have people here from Virginia, Louisiana, South Louisiana, Texas, and Mississippi. It's been a blast. We're only on day two. It's just day two? Day two. Day two. My goodness. Jace would say this is day two. Day one was yesterday. <laughs> Please lead us in the blessing, sir. Yes, sir. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this moisture you've given us. Thank you for that big herd of elk up on top. I pray that if it's your will, we'll be able to get in amongst them in the morning. I just pray that the blessed is food to our use and us to your use. And we love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Y'all get after it. We felt really good about the next morning's hunt. Day three rolls around. They tell us kind of where we need to go. Me and Brooks kind of on our own. We head out on the side by side. We 
we'd find us a, a big old rock to set up on. We, we were set up on this rock. We could see a lot of ground in every direction. So we, we had a good feeling like this is gonna be the spot we need to be today. Several cows, some mule deer had come out of the timber. All of a sudden I look up, bull elk is like running off the mountain. Heart starts beating. It's going about 9,000 beats a minute. So when he jumps the fence, Brooke gets all discombobulated there. He's trying to get the camera turned because he's done moved a long ways. And Brooke's getting the camera set up and he's like, hold on, hold on. I was like, let me know when you got him. He said, I got him. As soon as he said, I got him. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, down, baby. <laughs> Tag that, <down>, baby. <laughs> have him good when he stops yeah. he stopped perfect dude yeah he was motoring and i couldn't believe he kept coming to the fence i was like i figured he just stayed over there i said there ain't no way he gonna jump that yeah. fence <laughs> that's a big animal oh, oh. look at that holy macaroni holy macaroni he said dude that's awesome my first bull elk big bull on the ground this whole trip has been about first Looking at that bull sitting there when I walked up on him and the view, you got all these mountains in the background. I mean, it's just breathtaking. And honestly, I was getting a little choked up talking about it. I mean, I got my best friend in the whole wide world, Mr. Brooks Sanders here with me. It, it just don't get better than this. I have punched my third tag on my first ever bull elk. We hiked in here a long ways this morning and we knew if we just stayed put that they would eventually come on out and give us a chance. We saw so many elk yesterday evening on this mountain right here behind me and uh, we knew they had to be close. Optimus, the 300 Ultra Mag baby with that brand new Hawk scope, laid the hammer down, dropped him in his tracks. We thank God this countryside is just, I mean, it's breathtaking. You Looking back behind the camera there, I mean, those mountains are just, I mean, it's breathtaking. This is gonna provide a lot of meat for the family, man. We're gonna need another freezer at the house, I believe. Seth shows up, then we had to load it up. My mercy, this creature is so big. We field dressed it, but this thing still weighs probably seven, 800 pounds and we gotta get it in the back of the six wheeler. Luckily, he brought two come along. getting ready to pack up and go home. First thing we gotta do is figure out a way to get off this mountain. 
We got that wool wine dodge ram, longhorn edition. We're gonna throw her in four lower and we're gonna creep her on out of here. Once we get off the mountain, we're gonna head into town to the processor and we got a lot of meat to load up. Ready to get home, see the family, but uh, man, leaving this site here is gonna be tough. I didn't have a tag, but I had a camera in my hand. I think I've laid down some awesome footage. Probably one of the most epic videos that we've ever put together. Eat good food, hunt some good terrain, experience the blizzard. Now I'm ready to take it back to Mississippi where it's a little bit warmer. Huge, 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 huge thank you to Mr. Jim Griswold for the invite. Jason, his son-in-law, texted me. He's like, is it good as Pop really says it is? I was like, man, Pop was not lying. This place is amazing. But in closing, I just want to give a big shout out to Mr. Jim and uh, thank him for letting us tag along on this adventure. A told me we're fixing to go elk hunt. Well, you just got in the front of the camera. Yeah, you did? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> well, A, he texted me. He said, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> He said, damn. What'd I say? He said, dude, we going elk hunting and I need you. You think I'm gonna miss out on a chance to go hunt elk, mule deer? Ain't happening.